welcome everyone to the brutal unboxing for the Sideshow Collectibles Freddy Krueger. I purchased this figure from Toy HQ in the UK. I believe uh, the main dude there, his name is Matt. This is the first Toy HQ purchase I have done. But they have included some sweet little goodies in the box. It's always nice when you get some little extras. You've got a G.I. Joe comic, uh, a little scratch and win card there with the possibility of maybe winning a figure. I've got to do that soon and see what's up. And a nice little coffee mug or tea mug for Django. The D is silent. Very nice. I shall be using that from now on to drink my tea. And uh, yeah, there's Toy HQ. That's their website there. Go ahead and check that out. But let's get on with unboxing Freddy. I hope you're all having a spooktacular. That's a little nod to the review spot there. October. I hope you're loving it. Halloween is drawing closer and closer. What a perfect time to unbox Freddy. All right, so here's the box, and I do love the art design at least. The uh, big Nightmare on Elm Street down the side. A cool picture of the figure on the back. Some credits there. And the same on the other side. And a cool front cover. The uh, actual cardboard is pretty thin. Uh, it, well, it's kind of doubled over on the side, but on this bit, it feels pretty thin. It's not the best quality cardboard, but it's going to do the job. And I like the size of the box because I'll be able to easily display the box behind the figure in the collection room next door. And it's not going to take up too much space. So let's go ahead and lift off the flap together. Let's do it. We're getting there. The reason this is called the Brutal Unboxing and the reason the review for this figure is going to be called the Brutal Review has nothing to do with Freddy and his uh, characteristics, the things that he does to people. It's because Sideshow Collectibles done fucked up. That's why. And I'm going to tell you why. You already know why most of you guys... What's this? Thank you. Is that from Sideshow or from Toy HQ? I think that's from Sideshow. Oh, it is from Sideshow. Look. Hello, Sideshow. There's your logo. Now, um... Just uh, in a nutshell, well, this has to come down first. Uh, I mean, just doing all this all one handed, so do bear with me. Wearing a Freddy jumper, of course. I think it's more of a Dennis the Menace jumper, to be honest. But as, as we all know, Freddy's jumper is green and red, not black and red, and certainly not brown and red, Sideshow. You'd think the uh, research team over there at Sideshow in California would know the color of Freddy's jumper and would know the color of Freddy's pants and would know the color of Freddy's fedora hat but apparently not because Sideshow let's see what we got here let's see here we got the stand yeah there we go yeah see Sideshow went for brown stripes and red which is totally wrong they gave him brown trousers instead of black trousers as they're meant to be and they made for his fedora black instead of brown so everything is pretty much the wrong color how they managed to do that i have no idea let me just uh i had this lying around this is the um necker nightmare on elm street part three the dream warriors which is what this figure is based on the third movie um, and the artist, I've got his book next door, he's an incredible artist, he's been doing all of these uh, amazing covers for uh, NECA. I think it's Jason uh, something, I'll confirm that for you in the review. But I mean, even my man Jason, the artist, look, the hat is brown, green and red stripes, and black trousers, even though they kind of look purple there, but trust me, they're black. So I don't know why Sideshow screwed up the colours with everything. I'm going to be doing a lot of customization, a lot of modifying on this. Uh, I've also just realised that this is definitely not the exclusive version that comes with an extra gloved hand with a pointing finger. That's a damn shame. Uh, so, let's see him for the first time together. It's certainly not anything new. This figure's been out for a while. And uh, I haven't even looked at it with my own eyes yet. I'm looking at it for the first time with you guys through this camera here. He looks all right. Let's see. The neck section, you know, the bit that his head goes through isn't too wide. I've seen some where this bit is just way too wide and you can see the joint and you can see a bit of the shoulder and stuff. That really bugged me. Um, I've got some black trousers I'm going to swap out. I'm going to rip the hat off because the hat is uh, non-removable. You can't take this hat off, which is really stupid. 
they should have at least given you two head sculpts, one with a hat and one without. Uh, but I'm going to rip off the hat later on, file down the part that's underneath the hat, and maybe even use a different hat altogether. But I'll definitely be changing out the trousers, or the pants, whatever you want to call them, to a black pair. And maybe seeing what I can do about fixing this jumper. But I bought this figure knowing damn well that it was going to take a lot of work to get it to a point where I'd be happy with it. But it is a pretty decent figure out of the box. It's just, why the hell did they get the color of the hat wrong, the color of the jumper wrong, and the color of the pants wrong? It's, it's, it's a lot to get wrong, Sideshow. And here's the base, as you can tell, just by looking at it. A lot of thought and love and passion went into designing this. Okay, well here is the pair of black uh, pants that I want to swap out with Freddy. I'm just hoping that they're going to fit okay. I don't want them to be too baggy. I've been through that before and I don't like it when Freddy's uh, trousers slash pants are MC Hammer style -y. So uh, these ones, the ones that come with them, they do fit well and it's a nice material. They did well there. It's just they're not the right color. They should be black. So I've got a pair of black ones here that I've had for years just lying around doing nothing. So I'm going to try and swap those out, but not for the review. I'm going to review him and do the True Light review as you're going to get him. So I'll save all the modifications until after all that's done. All right, guys, just to wrap up this unboxing, I'll just show you Freddy on the shelf now with the rest of the figures in the horror collection with the horror display. And I uh, just wanted to bring up a point as well about the jumper, at least the kind of stitching work on the jumper. Now, what kind of bugs me is I wish they had have gone for more of a sleeve with these um, retro kind of cloth uh, Necker Freddy figures, you can see the kind of stitching, it, it's a bit funky looking for a figure this scale, but I think this kind of stitching would have worked really well on a 1-6 scale figure. Um, it just looks, you know, better to me, obviously not so much around the wrist where it's starting to get a bit fluffy looking, but just the kind of, the actual sew, or whatever you want to say, that kind of technique for sewing and stitching, I think that would have translated really well to his jumper, plus the uh, obviously more movie accurate colors here. So pop him down here. There's also um, this version, which is actually from uh, part three, I think, which is the same movie that this is based on. Again, with the accurate green and red and a much more convincing sort of stitching effect, I think, on these. Even got the little hole for his thumb to go through, which I think I added myself. But yeah, I just, I really prefer this kind of stitching. It just seems more convincing to me for a figure with like a Freddy Krueger jumper. And uh, just pop him down there. And uh, obviously there's a sculpted version of Freddy's jumper, which is still really good. That's by NECA. So yeah, if you're not intending to do any modifications to him and you just want to leave him as he is right out of the box, I think you'll still be very happy with him because he is a really nice looking piece. Well, nice, you can't really say that about Freddy, but you know what I mean? He's been put together pretty well. And uh, there is the original Freddy. That's the first one that Sideshow released, although I have heavily customized this, repainted it, modified it, all kinds of things. Um, I've gone into great detail in previous videos a few years back about what I did to him, but he looks much better now. And uh, there's some other pieces, lots of other little Freddy bits lying around. That's my first ever um, figure that started this whole thing. I obviously used to have toys growing up, but this was the first figure from this whole kind of world that we're in now with the whole NECA, McFarlane, Hot Toys, Sideshow, all that stuff. That was the very first one. So, um, yeah, I'll take Freddy outside now. We'll do a True Light review and then we'll get the review done and then I can get modifying and let you know what's up with that. But straight out of the box, he is a nice looking piece. Um, I think if you weren't gonna do any modifications, you would still be pretty happy. The proportions of his body look good. He looks about right to me. So, that's about it. We've got uh, one more delivery coming today, and that's going to be the... It's quite an old figure. I think it's like 12 or 13 years old. The 1 4 scale version of this by NECA. Uh, I was expecting it yesterday, but it didn't show up, so it should come today. I'm very much looking forward to that, because I love the sculpt and the mask. And I'm going to see on the 1 4 scale version if I can remove the hair the same way I did for the Rob Zombie one and replace it with real hair which does take a while to do, but it's well worth it in the end. It just looks so much more terrifying. So I think if I can replace the plastic hair on the 1 4 scale version of this with real hair, we're going to be laughing all the way to the bank. Because it's going to look sick. All right, hope you enjoyed the unboxing. Stay tuned for the True Light review and the full-on review itself. This has been an unboxing for the Sideshow Collectibles, Freddy Krueger from Part 3 Dream Warriors.